So when I first met Alex uh, a couple years ago, I thought to myself, and for all of you that know Alex, you could understand this, I'm like, there is no way that we're ever gonna be friends. She can be a little hard to get to know and a little hard to get along with. And as we hung out and we got to know each other a little bit better and we got along a little bit, I thought to myself, wow, she's exactly like me. And I couldn't have done it all these years without her. me that she was bringing an army guy home. I thought, good luck. What's your dad at? I could say. Where's your dad at? Yeah, we all know. But he, he has been the light in her life. He has been so good for her and calming her down and teaching her to compromise. But they've just worked together as a family and the kids I see how they are when Max walks through the door, and I could not imagine a better person in their life. now by the authority in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, <laughs> pronounce them to be husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. You may kiss the bride. So I'm a huge fan of public speaking, and I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited to be here right now. Uh, but I do want to talk about uh, just Max, seeing him over the years grow up, and, and even back then, he used to talk about how much he wanted to have a family, and uh, he really looked forward to, I don't know, having a lot of kids, having a good family. Happy to see him find Alex, and you're starting a beautiful little family. And uh, so, yeah, you know, congratulations! You guys are just a beautiful freaking pair of people.